Do you like anime? Do you like stickers? If the answer to either of those questions were yes, or you're just an otaku like me, go check out sukawaii.com. Here, you can look at all of these beautiful stickers and other anime merch and accessories. They've got My Hero Academia. They've got Seven Deadly Sins. They've got Jujutsu Kaisen. They've even got little cuties like this. Who is that? I don't know, but I'm buying them. I bought some myself and they're amazing and adorable. Here, look, using the link in the description below, use promo code BIZARRE5 for 5% off of your purchase. That's promo code BIZARRE5 for 5% off of your purchase. I mean seriously, look how cute! Monster, an Attack on Titan X Meat Reader fanfic by Mokomaki. Chapter 17. If you're new to the channel and enjoy the video, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and a comment down below. But without further ado, let's begin. I followed Eren and the other two down the long hallway. Hanjay explained to Aaron what was going on, and I watched as Mike sniffed him and smirked. He sure is a bit of an oddball. Before I knew it, we arrived at the courtroom. Hanjay grabbed my arm and pulled me towards the audience while Aaron was tied to a pole in the middle of the courtroom. I noticed my friends, Mikasa and Armin, there immediately tried to walk over to them, but Hanjay stopped me. That's not a good idea. Just stay here with me. Giving her a saddened look, I nodded and stood where Hanjay was. And with that, the court began. With the attention span of a five-year-old, I didn't really listen to what was being said. Instead, I faintly hummed to myself as random people shouted throughout the room. What if she's one, too? My attention grew back once I noticed the scary men glaring daggers at Mikasa. My blood ran cold. She has nothing to do with this! Leave her alone! Aaron yelled. I thought he was going to stop there, but he continued. Everyone here is just saying what happens to be convenient for them. But once you cut yourselves from reality... It's pointless. I sniffed the air. The atmosphere was getting tense. Uh-oh. You people have never seen a titan, so what are you afraid of? I've never seen Aaron look so livid before. His scent was giving off a scary vibe. I didn't like it. Just shut your mouth and invest everything with us! He screamed. The whole courtroom fell silent. I swallowed it thickly. Stand ready! I heard someone shout. Wait. What? Were they going to shoot? Aaron's face paled as guns were now getting pointed at him. I felt fear course through me fast. I dreaded for a gunshot to be heard and Aaron to drop down dead, but that didn't happen. Instead, Captain Levi appeared out of nowhere and walked towards Aaron. I was confused by his actions, but my eyes later widened once I saw him kick Aaron in the face. Hard. I saw something flew out of Aaron's mouth. Was that his tooth? But he didn't stop there. Levi kicked him again, but this time in the stomach. He grabbed a hold of Aaron's hair and kicked him square in the face. I internally gasped as I began to move abruptly from my spot, but Hanje helped me down. Aaron coughed up blood and Levi slammed his foot down on Aaron's head. The smell of blood reeked into my nostrils, sending a new feeling through my veins. Suddenly, I couldn't move. It was like I had no control over my body. Personally, there is no better punishment than pain. What you need, boy, is to be taught a lesson. And you happen to be in perfect kicking position. Captain Levi then proceeded to kick Aaron endlessly, the whole courtroom going in shock. Everything around seemed to grow faint and somewhat blurry. The only sounds I could hear was my hard breathing as I stared dead-eyed at the captain and Aaron. The pained grunts of Aaron and the smell of his blood was all I could think of. My hands began to ball up in fists as Aaron's scent of blood kept coursing through my nostrils. Why did it smell so appetizing all of a sudden? Drool began to drip from my mouth as I began to make a low, growling noise. Hanje began to notice my behavior. Hey, hey, are you alright? What's wrong? Hanje tried shaking me and kept calling my name, but that only made my growling louder. She noticed Drool dripping onto the floor and she grew more concerned. Hey, what? Once Aaron's scent of blood entered my nose again, I snapped. I let out a loud growl, which caught Hanje off guard. She quickly grabbed me and tried to calm me down, but I kept squirming in her grip. Hey! Hey! What's wrong with you? She asked. I heard her let out a loud gasp only once she saw my face. I didn't know why, though. This grabbed the attention of some of the audience. I tried desperately to reach towards Captain Levi and go for his throat, but Hanje held me back. Finally, with all my strength, I roughly pushed her aside and made my way down to the middle of the courtroom with inhuman speed. Before Levi could even see what was going on, I gave him a hard kick to the side, 
catching him off guard and knocking him to the ground, landing only a few feet away from me. Knowing that he was far away, I lunged towards Aaron, making everyone gasp. Hey! Hey, stop! Author's POV. The whole courtroom went into shock as an unfamiliar scout made her way down to the center of the courtroom and kicked Levi away with great force. The crowd then went into a panic as she lunged right for Aaron, causing Hanjay, Armin, and Mikasa to scream out her name, begging her to stop. Levi stared back in slight shock, expecting her to attack Aaron next, but his eyes widened once she did something that caught everyone off guard. Instead of attacking Aaron, she skid herself in front of him and put her arm out, as if she was protecting him. Everyone fell silent. She was defending the Titan boy. Could this mean she could be a possible danger as well? You. Aaron thought weakly as he stared up at her. She growled loudly as she glared daggers at Levi with slanted eyes. Veins were popping in random places on her hand, but the most that were present were near her left one, the one she keeps covered. She then lunged quickly at Levi, knocking him to the ground, and then proceeded to claw at him, trying to reach for his throat. At this point, the whole courtroom grew into a panic. Some were screaming, while some were debating whether to shoot or not. She's going to kill him! Somebody stop her! Hey, stop! Anjay screamed as she arrived closer at the scene. Armin and Mikasa watched in pure horror, not knowing what to do. But they do know one thing. This wasn't her. The real would know never to attack anyone. Stop this, please! Armin pleaded. Levi managed to grab both of them. arms. But that didn't stop her from trying to bite her with surprisingly razor-sharp teeth. His eyes widened once, developed a new kind of strength, making it harder to hold her back. She made herself stronger, he thought, growled even louder, frustrated that Levi wasn't giving up. Anjay stepped closer, trying to do something, but the MPs blocked her way. Stay out of this. No, please let me do something. I know this isn't her. She would never act like this, Anjay pleaded. She was defending the Titan boy and is trying to kill one of your superiors. What do you expect? Anjay stared back at the scene. Levi was struggling to hold her back, but she noticed something else. Her growls sounded painful, like she was suffering on the inside. This wasn't her. Stop this, please! This isn't you! Armin suddenly screamed. He continued to growl as she was nearing Levi's neck. The real wouldn't hurt anyone! You have to snap out of it, please! Levi began to lose strength until he felt something wet fall on his cheeks, making his eyes widen. Your POV. I couldn't even think. Anger and hunger was all I could feel. I let these strong emotions overpower me and I gave in to the urges. I tried desperately to kill the man who hurt my friend. It wasn't until I heard a familiar voice scream my name which made memories flow in me. Memories of Captain Levi being nice to me. I felt my conscience come back and realization hit me. Tears began to fall from my eyes as I stared down at Levi, horrified with myself. What was I doing? This wasn't me, I could never- I began to let out faint whimpers as I slowly sat up on Levi, tears still running down my face. I let out a small sound as silent sobs erupted from me. Wait a minute, stop! I heard a male voice shout behind me. Ugh. <clears throat> A sharp pain went through as silent gasp blessed my lips. I felt my vision blur and collapse onto Levi. Author's POV. Collapsed onto the captain, bleeding heavily from the shoulder. Hanjay shouted your name while running towards the scene. I said don't shoot! Commander shouted at one soldier. He at first was thinking of shooting the girl, but once he saw the tears coming from her eyes and the look of regret on her face, that left him even more confused. Levi sat up quickly with still in his arms as Hanjay ran to pull her body off of him. Hey, hey, can you hear me? The crowd erupted into concerned murmurs as Armin and Mikasa were tempted to run out of their seats as well. Aaron watched in pure horror as blood dripped from your shoulders. Everything became a blur as you were rushed out of the horror. I hope you guys enjoyed chapter 17 of Monster, the Attack on Titan X Meet Reader fanfic by Mokomaki. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and if you made it this far into the video, thank you very much. I appreciate you, but until next time, my name is Bizarre, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cue the outro.